Thank you very much for this kind of introduction. Thank you very much for your opportunity to speak here. Good morning, everybody. I don't have much time, so I'll speak a little slower, but I will tell you less <laughs> in the end. Uh, I would like to raise uh, three questions during my short speech about the uh, e-privacy regulation. The first question is, do we need a e-privacy regulation at all? It was already mentioned before that we now are on the edge to implement the GDPR, which is a real solid regulation with regard to data privacy issues. And if you want to create a level playing field, it's a question, is it a sector specific level playing field within the sector or between different sectors, which was already mentioned. And um, with, with regard to this, we have to look at the criticality of the information that is processed. And we have to look at the issue bottom up and not top down. Please remember that the e-privacy um, directive and regulation in the countries um, in former times was referring to a critical infrastructure which we don't have in this in this way anymore today today everything is critical infrastructure that is going on in the internet so every kind of data processing we have out there is in a way critical so the question would be what is now today more critical with the uh, communication data compared to let's say banking data that are transferred electronically or on the other hand, let's say insurance data. I don't really see that. So I can really question, do we need to have this anymore? Or is it okay when we have GDPR that covers all this kind of data processing in the future, which would also lead to less confusion with regard to the consumer and of course also the companies. Uh, this leads to my second question. When we say we need an additional regulation in that area, what should be covered by it? Shall it refer to services? I don't think this is the right approach because, uh, this was also already mentioned, um, a service does process different kind of information. And the criticality behind the service is always information that is processed. So we have to focus more on the information or the data that is processed. So that would say, if we, for example, say that um, location information critical information. It should be critical in, in every kind of services that is used here. It's not only critical with regard to communication and services, but also critical with regard to mapping services, for example, and critical with regard to social networks, for example. So where would be the difference? Um, and this is uh, would lead in the end that uh, by such kind of regulation, uh, nearly every kind of service or app service, for example, would be covered. Isn't this a critical issue? And who would be covered by it? And what would the, the consumer say about something like this? So, but nevertheless, if you say um, we need, in addition to the GDPR, a regulation for these other kinds of, let's say, data, the outcome should be as close aligned to the GDPR regulation as possible, also to avoid misunderstanding and out there, because out there. This means further processing should also be possible for the communication data, of course. It isn't the solution to prohibit further processing um, if you think this is a critical information, because we today we have um, possibilities to further process data in a very secure way, in a safeguarded way. So the right way forward would be to say, yes, you can do it, but do it with this respective safeguards that should be implemented. As I, as I said, it's not, a, it's not a solution to prohibit, let's say, when you take a dangerous road out there, it's not a solution to, 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 to block this road and to say, you are not allowed to drive there. The solution is to, to implement speed limits, for example, or crash barriers or whatever you can do. And we are, of course, open to do something like this. In the end, if you want to go forward with the digital industry, um, we need to go forward by enabling data processing and in the same way to enhance the trust of the customer in our processing. 
we show you already with our business models how this is possible to do. And people tell us if we trust the company, this might be a more critical issue. If we trust the company, we are more open to give them our information for further processing. This would be the way forward. Discuss with us safeguard technical possibilities and handling of information instead of prohibition. Thank you very much.